book now. Could you please introduce us your uh, self, uh, background of the industry, please? Yes, a pleasure. I'm Alexander Frankel. Uh, I'm a Swiss national from Geneva. Uh, I've started the, uh, in the hotel business. Actually, I was born in a small hotel. Uh, I've done the hotel school in Switzerland. Uh, after what I have worked for 13 years for Hilton in six different locations, mostly in Asia, in Japan, in the Maldives, in China, and in Thailand as well. And I joined Amari Hotels and Resorts in 2004 as resident manager of the Amari Watergate. And tell us the industry in Thailand, hotel business in Thailand. Um, currently, well, we are starting 2013 now and we, are, we just finished a year which for the first time since many years has been unaffected either by uh, economic, political or natural uh, issues as we had in 2000, we finished 2011 with the floodings. Uh, but, but last year has seen uh, again an, an ascending trend uh, which we really hope will continue this year. And uh, lots of hotels also opening every year in Bangkok. Right? Not, Bangkok is one thing. Yeah. This particular area in Sukhumvit, big competition, I think. It's been this is this is the biggest challenge for this particular yeah. hotel. Uh, the Amari Boulevard is a very long established hotel. Uh, yeah. It's twenty twenty three years yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, at the time it was built, there were not so many competitors around, but every year there is more and more coming. Yeah. Yeah. Also, tell us, Amari Boulevard, what's new? We know Amari Boulevard, but our readers, of course, want to know some more things. Could you please tell us shortly about Amari Boulevard, your hotel? So, I think the, the what's new comes, uh, a lot of things new happening around the hotel, uh, uh, with the, the amount of, uh, of restaurants, new restaurants and new, new places opening around the hotel. As far as the hotel is concerned, we have uh, a plan, we have a mock-up room for uh, an expensive renovation uh, to start hopefully in 2013. As we know, the hotel, as you may know, the hotel has two wings uh, and we would start this renovation with the, the, the first wing of the hotel. Uh, okay. the How is the bookings? How is the percentage of the internet and normal regular uh, bookings? I think this is no... No news really that, uh, uh, especially this location, Bangkok, we see uh, year after year uh, a shift to the internet. So, internet starts progressively to become uh, uh, more than a half uh, of what we get in terms of the reservations for the hotel uh, from both our own website and the, uh, the third party agents. What is the one day, working day of Mr. Frankel. Well, there, is not, there is not one day, uh, 365. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but tell me about it's, what are you doing, you it's, know, it's, one working day. What time you wake up, what it's time different. you where do you live, in the outside of the hotel or inside the hotel? It's different every day. Uh, but generally, wake up, yes, around between 6.30, 7 o'clock, uh, and start around 7.30, 8 o'clock. I appear to be taking Thai classes, uh, Thai language classes, so I do that twice a week at 7.15 in the morning. Uh, and then I'm in the office between 8 and 8.15. Uh, like, like every, most of the hotels we have a briefing first at 9 o'clock. And then it depends on the priorities of the day. Uh, meeting guests, meetings with the head office, meeting with colleagues. Uh, uh, and we also have an agenda during the week of various, uh, of various, uh, uh, whether it's sales and marketing, whether it's revenue, uh, whether it's uh, staff birthday parties. I mean, as I said, that's why there is not not one single day. Uh, plus, coping with emails. Uh, I think that's the biggest change that we're observing in the last five to ten years. Is that we used to receive fax, we could respond within 24 hours. Now, if people don't get a response within one or two hours, then you get a reminder. So that, that increases the pace of life. Yes. And tell me, what is the holiday choices of Mr. Frankel? The holiday where are you going to for holiday? 
best destination, best holiday. Really, to... there is being in Bangkok. That's the great thing about being in Bangkok is that you've got either by plane or by car a very wide choice. So I try to avoid going regularly to the same place. Actually, since I came to came back to Bangkok a year ago. I, I've, I've made a point of not going by plane too much and discover the country by car. So I've actually been, I mentioned to you earlier, by car to Laos, actually even to Long Prabang, so it was an expedition which lasted 10 days. Uh, been now, we've been planting rice as part of our corporate responsib responsibility activities to the northeast of Thailand. We went by car. Uh, been to uh, Kanchanaburi recently, uh, so it's really there's no preferred destination because it's uh, try to do something different every time. Uh, and the long haul trip, uh, I have because of family reasons to go back regularly to Switzerland, but I'm planning a week in Istanbul in April actually mm -hmm. for the first time. You were there? How you were? I've never been, ah, but I will stop over to. Uh, Istanbul will stay. Right? How long uh, will you stay in Istanbul? A week. A week. With friends, yes. Oh, that's good. Yes. Okay, thank you so much for this show, uh, short interview, and thank hope to much. see you in Istanbul as it's well. It's a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you.